Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet right here. And um, I'm going to be doing it with yarn because it's easier to show on camera with yarn. And also you need five different strings of like five different colors of string. And um, you need two of each. So in total you're going to have ten strings like this. And you need to lay them out so they're mirroring each other like that. So let's start off by first making a forward knot from the first to second string. One. Like that. Then you're going to take um, your third and fourth string here and you're going to make another forward knot. Then you're going to take your two middle strands here, and you're going to make another forward knot. And then you're going to take your seventh and eighth string, and you're going to make a backward knot with the eighth string to the seventh string. Like that. Then you're going to take your first, I mean your um, ninth and tenth string, and you're gonna make a backward knot from the tenth to the ninth. Like that. So you're gonna have something like that. Then you're gonna take out your outermost strands, put them aside. You're not gonna use them right now. And you're gonna make a forward knot with the second to the third string. One, two, then take your fourth and fifth string here and you're going to make another forward knot. One, two, then you're going to take your sixth and seventh string and you're going to make a backward knot. Then you're going to take your 8th um, and ninth string here, and you're going to make a backward knot. Your Christmas music station, like that. Then you're going to put in your outermost strands in, again. And with the 1st and 2nd string, you're going to make a forward backward knot. Put that to the side. Then you're going to take your 2nd and 3rd, your 3rd and 4th string, and you're going to make... Uh, forward knot. Put it to the side. Then you're going to take your fourth and fifth string here. And you're going to make a forward backward knot. Then you're going to take seventh and eighth string here. And you're going to make a backward knot. Then you're going to take your ninth and 10th string and you're going to make a backward forward knot with the 10th and the 9th. Backward, forward, like that. Then you're going to take out your outermost strands, put them aside, and you're going to use your second and third string. And with the third string, you're going to make a backward forward knot. Then, with your 4th and 5th string, you're going to make a forward knot. Like that. Then you're going to take your, um, your 6th, no, your, your 6th and 7th string, and you're going to make a backward knot. One, and with the 8th and ninth string here, you're going to make a um, forward, backward, down. I'm going to have something like that so far. Okay. Put in your outermost strands in again, and you're going to make a forward, backward knot, like we did with the first one right here. Then take your 
fourth and third string and you're going to make a backward forward knot. Take your innermost strands and make a forward knot. Then you're going to take your seventh and eighth string and you're going to make a forward backward knot. Then you're going to take your tenth and ninth string and you're make you're going to make a backward forward knot. Like that. Then you're going to take your outermost strands out again. And you're going to make um, a backward forward knot with the third to second string. And with your fifth and fourth string, you're going to make a backward forward knot. Now with your 6th and 7th string here, you're going to make a forward backward knot. And then you're going to make another forward backward knot with the 8th to the 9th string. You have something like that. Put in your outermost strands in again, and you're going to make a forward backward knot like we did with the other one. And you're going to take your fourth and third string and you're going to make a for backward forward knot. Then you're going to take your innermost strands and you're going to make a backward forward knot. Then take your um, seventh and eighth string and you're going to make a forward backward knot. Then take your 9th and 10th string and make a backward forward knot with the 10th to the 9th. Backward, forward. Put in, take out your outermost strands and put them to the side. And take your 3rd and 2nd string and you're going to make a backward forward knot. Then take your fifth string here and you're going to make a backward forward knot. Then take your sixth and seventh string and you're going to make a forward backward knot. Then take your eighth and ninth string and you make a forward backward knot. You're going to have something like that so far. Okay. So next you're going to take your, you put in your innermost strands in again. And you're going to make a forward backward knot with the first to second string. Forward. Backward. Then take your fourth and third string and make a backward forward knot. Then make a backward forward knot with the innermost strings. Then take your 7th and 8th string and make a forward backward knot. And with the 10th and 9th string, you're going to make a backward forward knot. Take out your innermost strands out again. And you're going to make a um, backward forward knot to the from the third to the second string. Like that. Then you're going to take the fourth and fifth string and you're going to get your fifth string to the fourth, a backward forward knot. Then you're going to take um, your 6th and 7th string and you're going to make a forward backward knot. Like that. Then take your 8th and 9th string and with an 8th to the 9th you're going to make a forward backward knot.
And you're gonna have something like that. And that is a whole entire pattern. It sounds confusing, I know, but follow along with the pattern video that I made and you will understand it better. So if you have any more questions, send them in. And thank you for watching. Bye.